I'm afraid. I'm afraid to open my mouth and say to somebody what I'm really feeling. And I'm not talking about petty little things, okay? I'm talking about, I'm talking about deep stuff. All right? I'm not talking about petty. I'm talking about deep stuff. Amen? You'd be surprised what happens when people get money. Surprised. You come like their God or something. You know, anyhow. Anyhow. Blah, blah, blah. That's all I can say. But, you see, it does not matter, does it? St. Denise, it does not matter. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you again. <laughs> I'm okay, Pastor? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then we see the violence enter into the picture through the verbal attack, the actions or acts uh, physically, emotionally, sexually. The final piece of the arm is murder. This may be through words, actions, or deeds. I hate you. Oh, I like, I, well, I, I, I love them, but I just don't want to hang out with them. There you go. Come on. There you go. You know. How can we say we love God and yet we hate our brother? Yes. My, my, my. <laughs> you know, that one always creeps up on a dummy. Yeah. Well, you know, I just, we find that I just don't want to be with you. I just want to be around you. And those are the ones that God sent you to. <laughs> All that the Father shall give to you shall come to you, and you will in no wise cast out. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> that kicks, don't you? Oh, 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 oh. We have a second scripture to back that up. <laughs> we don't have nothing to throw that one out. Amen? <clears throat> It might be an attack of killing the person spiritually, emotionally, or even physically. Anyway, the first thing that we must do to remove the strong man of death and hell is to examine our fears, our hearts, and to be sure there's no bitterness in our lives. If there is any areas of unforgiveness, resentment, desires to retaliate, anger, hatred, violence, or a desire through thoughts, words, deeds, or murder, we have bitterness. Any memory or thoughts that bring pain is a symptom of bitterness. When we are willing to admit that we have bitterness, then we're down the road to recovery, to freedom. The next thing we must do is to repent. Oh, that's a goodie. Yeah. Repentance means turning away from our attitudes, feelings, agreement with the bitterness and ask God to forgive us. Then we must forgive others, ourselves, and we must realize that bitterness puts us into bondage to those whom we are bitter towards. God commands us to forgive without condition, without a timetable. Forgiveness is, oh, you know, you know, I ain't over it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's your problem? I ain't over it. Okay? What's this? <laughs> you like snake. You talking? You talking? You still talking? You know who it is that got that from the world, brought it into church. <laughs> Ooh, goodness me. Look at snake. Medusa. Forgiveness. It's a moment by all the teeth that's funny. <laughs> a moment by moment occurrence for others and us. It is not dependent on how we feel. It's dependent on obedience to God. Because God commands which frees us to live a life where, that, where death and hell and destruction cannot enter. The devil is riding our back. Yes, yes. Get off of my back. I'm not going to a boat. That's all you have to say. <laughs> Amen? Amen? It's good stuff. Yeah. Okay. I want you to stand up and listen to the prayer. I want you to agree. I want you to come to the altar with me as we pray. Yes. Come on. Anybody wants to come to the altar with me?
bow your hands. Leave without getting what you came for. Don't leave without getting what you came for. God loves you so much. I'm getting all my prayers ready. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we resist and we break all curses and hexes and spells and incantations and voodoo and centurion palomayami prayers. Or kashiba, witch, witchcraft. And especially the witchcraft related to the goddess of Diana. Masonic rituals, Egyptian occult worship, and witchcraft, and African witchcraft, and Caribbean witchcraft. We resist and break in Jesus' name all the influence of Eastern philosophies and religions and Hindu gods and Muslim worship. In Jesus' name, we resist and break all curses and hexes and spells and ceremonies and incantations off of this land used in the worship of false gods and even sexual and blood ritual sacrifices and covenants of all of these and any other worship of any of these kinds. In Jesus' name, we resist and break all charismatic, witchcraft, soulish prayers, fleshly prayers, assignments of the enemy through and in the body of Christ. We cancel all assignments through generational bloodiness as well as in our family, and we apply the blood of Christ to break all strongholds and iniquity and rebellion in our family and in us, Lord. We confess our sins, any involvement with accusing spirits, accusing and judging others, accusing God, accusing ourselves, and we bring them to the cross of Calvary. We ask to forgiveness, Lord, from all the bitterness unloving spirits and the jealousy and envy and rejection and rejection as idolatry and fear and occultism and pharmacia and sorcery cloaked under the skies of religion. We raise up the sword of the spirit, Lord, and we cut off all of these and any other ungodly bondage and ungodly character that we, we have, God. We break all soul ties to those related to those sins and we claim the full protection of sons and daughters and as heirs of the Lord, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the shed blood of Jesus over all of us individually, our marriages, our family, our procession, and our church body, we thank you that you have a shield of power, Mr. God. And you say that Satan on our behalf, the Lord rebuke you, Satan, you're a liar. The Lord has chosen Jerusalem. He's chosen his people, rebukes you in all these lives and situations and areas that we have just lifted up to the Lord. And in God's name, the Lord Jesus Christ, I will invite the Holy Spirit. Come and do fresh rain, fresh rivers of living water, and fill us up to this dirty time. Father, we thank you and we praise you have, that you have raised us up with Christ and we've seated us with the Lord Jesus in the heavens. And God, I agree with you in the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we bind up all the strong and of all the spirits and the elements and the rulers and the authorities and the powers of the dark world and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms on the earth and under the earth. We choose to forgive our enemies, those that have sinned against us. We bless those that have cursed us. We bless those that have opposition. That they do not, that because they don't know what they're doing, and the gods of this world have blinded them. And we thank you that you will guide us in all truth, God. And we pray that you will lead us into the knowledge of truth, God, and protect our families during this time of prayer, Father. We humble ourselves before you, Lord, and we, we present to ourselves and our family and our church body during this time of prayer through the power of the word of the cross, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, through the mighty name of Jesus, and as an heir to that word, and we find the power of Satan all his kingdom, and God is taking entry and in our lives, in our family, in our church family, and we pray aside, and by the name of Jesus Christ, we find up all the by Satan and his demons that have spoken and spoken against us, all of that shit coming on. We make a declaration that they have been destroyed in the name of Jesus. We proclaim through the blood of Christ a coward, all the signs of schemes and activity of Satan that has been all broken. We bind up Satan's forces from having our family or possession in honor and our inheritance, God. And we stand on Psalm 91 and ask that you dispatch your presence and your mighty angels to drive the enemy from our family, our church, and our homes.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, worship the Lord. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Come on, worship the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. 15 more seconds. 15, 15. Just 15 more seconds. Come on.
going to give this back into the hands of our pastor for the hour, Pastor Sue Harrison. Come on, we don't want to miss anybody. Is there anyone else you have an offering that you want to give? Hallelujah. If the Lord has spoken to you and told you a little more, and he says, give him a little bit more, just on your mind, because God will, he will bless you. Oh, hallelujah. And especially you have me. I like what the pastor said. She said in her deepest need, she kept paying her tithes and giving her offerings. If you don't control your expectation, and God came through, and God will always come through. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And we thank you all for being those. Did we miss anybody? We don't want to miss anybody. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet, real quick. Stand to your feet, all over the sanctuary. Stand to your feet right now. Oh, hallelujah. You can that blood circulating in your hand. What do we have time in the presence of God tonight? Amen. Did everybody give that word to you? Amen. Would you stretch your hands of faith this way? Stretch your hands of faith this way. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Thank you, Lord. Mark this one second. Yeah, would you like Jesus, we praise, worship, and magnify your holy and majestic name. Thank you, O oh God, for everyone that gave their name. Thank you, O oh God, even as we give in faith. We are in support, Lord oh God, of what you're doing in this ministry, in this region of the country. We glorify you right now that even on this night, a shockwave of your glory has moved from this place throughout the world for every woman of God in the world. Oh God, as those that have given my faith, Cops come back to the press down, shake it together, and run over. And oh God, we decree the budget met in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Give the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. And as the evangelist makes her way, glory to God. Put your hands together as she goes. God bless you. Amen. Pastor. Pastor Sue, come on up here. Give all of your hand clap for this missionary. Thank you. 
for the South of Prayer. I want to take God for the top of Y'all understand this man God right here. He's not going to receive this, but he's in big places. He does not have to be in this place here with us. Trying to bring the gospel to the undeniable, the rejected, dejected, abandoned people. As soon as I called him, he said, well, what do you need me to do? I said, if you can just pray. Whatever, whatever. He said, what do you want me to do? I said, and see, he said, you got it. Just like that. Just like that. Same thing like Reverend Cruz. I thank God for the men that he sends to help this Deborah, this jail, our own ministry here. I receive it. I thank God for it. I do not take it lightly. Because this work is serious work. Praise the Lord. So thank you very much, man. Thank you. So we pray for y'all tomorrow night. Get some friends and bring them out tomorrow night. And you know, if you want to party tomorrow night, we are. Uh, well, they're going to tell you different. You need to be my bride. You can't leave without giving an offering. We got to open the door and stop you. If you want to play around with you, we'll put you to the back door. So if you want to leave tomorrow night, tell them the morning. I got some brothers in the back door waiting for you to pass me tonight. Let's pray. God, we love you, praise you, thank you, God, give you glory for who you are, God. Praise you, Lord God, for the message, Father. I praise you, Lord God, because I believe in your existence, spirit of deliverance, Father. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe, God, that the word tonight goes to the reaction may not have been with some thought, but I pray, God, it fall upon good ground and broke I know a seed was planted, Lord God. So you pray someone to that song. So we pray, Lord God, we pray, be mine and be right now. I praise you, God, for Pastor Percy, Father. And for the spirit Jesus, I pray, Father, for who she is. I praise you, Lord God, for Apostle Bill, Apostle Hayes. I praise you, God, that these great men don't be a small to come and bless this house, God. Now, God, we're leaving, God. We're not leaving your presence, God. You are a Jehovah Shalom. You are ever present, God. So we pray, Lord God, give us traveling mercy, Father. Take us safely, God, to our point of destination, God. Bring healing to the body right now, God. Bring deliverance, Father. And I pray even in the situation, God, bring praise. Your praise, your glory, because you're worthy. Because you're worthy. We thank you, God, we say in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And amen.